Delhi Chief Minister Arvind Kejriwal, who has declared war on the centre and Finance Minister Arun Jaitley over a CBI raid on his officer, has now alleged that the investigating agency has orders to target opposition parties. The Delhi Chief Minister made that allegation in a tweet this morning. He wrote, a CBI officer told me yesterday that the CBI has been asked to target all opposition parties and finish those who don't fall in line. Mr. Kejriwal also retweeted a post that quoted sources as saying that after the ruling BJP's Bihar election defeat, the Prime Minister had been weakened, so others would also have to be weaker. Tonima joining us at this point for more. Uh, Tonima, uh, the rhetoric just clearly getting ratcheted up at every opportunity now. Right, Ankita, and in fact, we can tell you that uh, the Chief Minister, along with several other uh, close associates of the Chief Minister, Deputy Chief Minister Manish Sisodia and several others, had in fact had a meeting earlier today as well in order to figure out their next course of action. But yes, another tweet early this morning by the Delhi Chief Minister essentially talking about how he felt that this was a part of a vendetta by the centre, that the CBI as an investigative agency was in fact being used as a tool by the centre to get to their opposition parties who they feel threatened by and that is what he claims has in fact been confided to him by somebody within the investigative agency. This is keeping in a continuation with his allegations which he had made right from the day that the Delhi Secretariat had in fact been raided. The Ahmadmi party had in fact been connecting dots between the fact, uh, between the raid as, uh, and, and the fact that they were planning to set up a commission to look into the allegations related to DDCA and uh, the Union Finance Minister Arun Jaitley's alleged involvement in the scam related to the Delhi Cricket Board Association. So the Delhi Chief Minister again keeping the ante up and keeping the attack on uh, Mr. Jaitley and the centre essentially saying that the CBI as an investigative agency was really working as per an agenda set by the centre clearly insinuating that the case against his principal secretary Rajinder Kumar is a part of that agenda. Ankita? Right, Tarima, are we, <clears throat> what, what's the step forward over here? Because both sides now seem to have taken uh, really intractable positions. Right, in a way, in fact, uh, when we heard the press conference yesterday by the Ahmadi party in which there were a slew of charges made against uh, Mr. Jaitley, although they were quoting reports which had already been out in the public domain, like the SFIO report as well as the DDCA committee report, uh, they did mention that this was just the tip of the iceberg, that they are going to come out with even more details of Mr. Jaitley's involvement in the DDCA scam. And in fact, as I was mentioning, that there was an early morning meeting today as well between the Delhi Chief Minister Arvind Kejriwal and Manish Sisodia uh, before they made their way to the Secretariat. This seems that the uh, party is clearly not going to back out any uh, anytime soon. And even as the CBI is continually questioning Rajinder Kumar, the principal secretary, he had been qu called for questioning three days in a row, though there has been no detention or arrest in, in a sight as yet regarding that case. But they are, uh, the CBI also is constantly questioning uh, the people concerned from the Delhi government. But the Ahmadbi party is clearly saying, despite the denials which had come in strongly from the BJP and Mr. Jaitley himself, that they have more information and more evidence, so to speak, in their own words, that they would want to reveal in the next few days. Ankita?